Hey, welcome back to Zach of All Trades. I'm Zach, and I am not an electrician. I do, however, on occasion, get paid to impersonate one. When I started doing so, pretty recently, I had a little bit of heartburn trying to nail down just the right tools for the job. So, I hope to save you a little bit of time, a little bit of head scratching, by discussing which pair of wire strippers is the right one. As you may imagine, somebody working in the capacity of an electrician, somebody doing wiring work, is going to use any of a host of tools, everywhere from screwdrivers to drills to pliers to voltage detectors. But the most important tool, in my limited experience, is your wire strippers. Let's think about this. As an electrician or somebody doing wiring, you're dealing with wiring. And every piece of wire that you need to connect somewhere guess what? You need to strip the insulation off of it. So, as I said, in my limited experience, your wire strippers are the most used and, in my opinion, most important tool that you're going to use on a wiring job. So let's get down to the brass tacks of which ones to buy and which ones to not buy. Behold, in no particular order, wire strippers from A to Z. Now let's just go ahead and get this out of the way. Let's get out the pair that you already have, the pair that you were probably thinking, hey, I've got wire strippers. Why is this guy talking to me about wire strippers? Well, yes, if you're a do-it-yourselfer of any sort, there's a high probability you already have a pair of these. Um, these wire strippers have their place. They absolutely have their place. And that place is when you're installing the uh, stereo in your first car. Beyond that, they're pretty much rubbish. Now, granted, they come in uh, several different uh, levels of badness, some less bad than others, but check this out. This is 18 gauge wire here. Uh, let's investigate and see if, there we go, we stripped wire with it. So, it can be done. If you have a job and this is the only thing you have on hand and you don't want to go buy a set of wire strippers just for just for one stupid little job that's fine use these and that's about as far as it goes um do not please do not show up to any sort of a uh, job professional with these uh, wire strippers don't do it it's not worth your time you're just going to wish that you hadn't brought them so off with those next uh when i showed up at the job i didn't bring those so I didn't have any wire strippers when I showed up at the job at first. And of course the uh, head man in charge says, hey, you got some wire strippers. Well, no, of course I didn't have any wire strippers because I knew better than to bring those. So the guy hands me this pair of wire strippers. These are, let me get off of their glare. There we go. These are the Klein Tools uh, 11045 model. And as I looked around, start in this first job it seemed like a lot of guys had these in their in their uh, pocket or in their tool belt and after using them i don't know i think i used them a night and a half or, or a shift and a half as it were uh they're sufficient they're they're okay they the biggest problem that i found with them and this may have been just this pair i can't really chalk it up to them being old and worn out because as near as i could tell when i first got my hands on them they were new or practically so uh, the problem that I had, though, was that the cutting edge was not particularly sharp. So there's, it seemed like there was a lot more effort uh, than, uh, than necessary just to strip that little piece of insulation off, like the, like the cutter wasn't completely cutting it. It may also be the alignment of the jaws. I don't know, so I'm kind of basing this just on, on this one uh, pair. So if you have a different... Uh, experience with these same with these same uh, wire strippers please chime in and let me know in the comments if I'm if I'm all wet on this opinion I'd love to hear it so I worked with these for a shift and a little bit of change and decided well I, if I'm gonna be doing this in any sort of frequency I need to go get my own set of wire strippers so I went to the local uh, electronic store and I bought this marvel of technology isn't that cool so the thing that I kept thinking was surely these old farts running around with their plain old, plain Jane 
pliers looking wire strippers. What's why are these guys being old and fuddy about it? Surely there's a better solution out there. So I bought this solution thinking that this was this is the bee's knees, right? Because all you do is stuff it in there, squeeze it, look what it does. Pulls that wire right off of there, and there you go. You can even adjust oops, adjust this little guy right here uh, in and out to determine how much wire you're stripping. And the, here's the thing that I really, really liked about it was that look at the look at the width of the anvil there. You can stuff several wires in there, and when you're doing piecework like I've been doing, where you get paid per fixture, the more quick and efficient, yet, uh, I don't know, good that you can do the job, the better, right? You don't want to do a sloppy job, but you don't want to dally if you're getting paid per piece. So in each light fixture, I got to strip six wires. If I can stuff six wires into this thing and do it all in one swack, well, yeah, it seemed like a really good idea uh, at the time. And I've gotten this thing to, to strip two wires at a time semi-reliably. Four wires, I think I got it to do it once, but six wires never. So the whole point of this thing was so that I could do more than one wire at a time. And I found that it's really, I went back down to just stripping one wire at a time. And even at that, it was still a little bit finicky. It doesn't always grab, and it might just be this particular manufacturer, but it seems more to me like the just the complication of the device is its, uh, is its downfall. So I will be returning this device uh, tomorrow after I finish uploading this video. So let's move on. I went to the Home Depot and I stood in front of the rack of electrical tools and I went back and forth and back and forth between these two tools. This, as I said, is the Klein Tools 11... Zero five, uh, sorry, zero four five. This yellow one here, and here's this blue handled one. This is the Klein Tools eleven zero five five. Now I will note, Klein Tools. I don't know if, if all of Klein Tools, but all of the wire strippers that I could see are made in the USA. So it's kind of a win-win, right? The yellow ones are twelve dollars before tax at the Home Depot here in America. The blue ones here are about $20 before tax at Home Depot here in America. So I stood there pondering, you know, I'm not an, a professional electrician. Is it worth it to go spend $20 on a set of wire strippers where I could do the same job, more or less, uh, with $12? So I probably spent, I bet I spent every bit of a half hour standing in front of that rack, scratching my head trying to figure out whether, you know, which one was best to go with. Uh, even doing a little research on my phone while I was standing there. So I finally went and I tracked down an employee who was a true blue uh, trades electrician. And I said, you know, ask the question, is this, is this one okay? Or is it worth the extra eight bucks to buy this one? And was told without hesitation, buy this set. You will not be disappointed. They just do the job better. And buy the set that the gauge range runs from 10 to 18. Because as I was told, correct me if I'm wrong here, but in most all of your uh, residential and light commercial applications, that's going to be the, the range of wire gauge that you're dealing with most often is that 10 to 18 gauge. If you get into the big stuff, then you're going to need a whole new set of <laughs> different set of tools anyway. But this is the one that you're most or this is the range that you're most commonly going to need. And let me show you how smooth this thing strips wire. Watch this. It's like butter. Isn't that nice? Just nibbles it, and pulls it right off. Now it does take a little bit of a little bit more uh, learning, I guess, a little bit more finesse to uh, to be able to do this, you know, quickly. But I would argue that after after a shift or two of using this tool, that I could strip six wires much quicker than this one right here. That doesn't seemingly doesn't take much skill so to speak so here you go I cannot uh, endorse this tool enough it's even got I don't know if this makes any difference or not but check out the handle it's this nice uh, ergonomic shape and they say that that's that's uh, less fatiguing on your hand which I can understand when you're stripping six wires at a time and doing I don't know doing 
40, 50 fixtures in a shift, every little bit helps, right? So this is the tool that I would highly, highly recommend. Um, as you've gathered by watching this video, if you're still here, I'm not a professional electrician. I haven't been doing this all my life, but uh, got some really good guidance from someone who had. And uh, in my experience, this is a fantastic wire stripper. Go find you some. So the moral of the story is, boys and girls, that much like you may have heard from some of the old timers talking about newfangled stuff, sometimes, just sometimes, the overly complicated uh, Rube Goldberg device might be the job, uh, tool for the job, but most often it's not. You're most often best served to buy a good quality example of old proven technology, learn how to use it well, and you won't be let down. I really hope that this did you some good. hope it saves you a little bit of time. And, uh, well, I hope that you don't electrocute yourself out there wrapping wires around stuff. So, thank you for watching. I really appreciate your time. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And while you're at it, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. I'd love to keep you around and uh, show you more stuff as I come up with it. Again, thank you for your time. I look forward to seeing you real soon. Thank you.